Hello everybody and welcome back to part 4 of this air dry sculpting demonstration. In this little demonstration I'm making a monkey or it might be a caveman. Whichever comes first. I don't know. We'll see. But in this video I'm basically blocking everything out a little bit better. I'm getting the eyes done. I'm reshaping the mouth and I'm getting ears on here. You know just rebalancing some of the clay and stuff and getting it more defined. I do believe at this point I got it looking a lot like a, a monkey or a caveman or something because everything is pretty much there now. You know, his eyes, ears, mouth, and lips, and nose, and stuff. All the good stuff. So it's really coming together. Um, for those people new, I do polymer clay sculpting. This is just a temporary thing, this air dry stuff. I started air dry clay way back in 2009 and I just made a few few little things and then I quit I basically went to polymer clay so I'm just kinda like revisiting that type of clay this clay right here this is a uh, regular potting clay it's about $8.99 for 10 pounds so it's pretty cheap right here I'm taking a little from the left side because it's a little heavy over there and I'm blocking out over by the eyeballs, the the bridge, the brow a bit basically, kind of squaring that off a little bit. And I also wanted to change the look of the mouth. So I'm just redoing that and adding some clay. Uh, the camera actually cut out on me on the upper lip, but I'll show you some of the lower lip anyways. It wasn't much, but this camera does cut off after 30 minutes and if you're not listening to it you and you're really into what you're doing like I was you'll you'll miss out on it but see you can see the upper lip now um, it wasn't really much I did but to see the side view of that doesn't that look really cool it's got a big pouty lip I'm just adding more clay to the right side because I'm trying to balance this thing up it's wonky it's very wonky looking. You see how I'm squaring off that eyebrow? That really makes it look more um, more realistic as opposed to just having that round head. But you saw me just cut those out, those two pieces of clay. I cut them at the same time and I'm using those as ears and cutting once I got them on there, I made sure they was on there really good. I start carving on them and I draw the actual shape of the ears on there with that stylus, put like a needle tool. And then go through and cut all the way through and remove the excess. This gives me the same amount pretty much on both sides and that's what I'm going to be working with as far as trying to make these ears and I was looking at some pictures of ears and trying to make it look like an ear I went and cut around on the back side to get you know some of that clay out because it was all solid but I just went at it little by little I'm using like these loop tools I have a video showing how I make these little hand tools if you haven't seen it before it's pretty helpful I mean, if you can get a tools or whatever, you can make a few of these things. But now I'm adding water and just using that nylon brush. I use nylon brushes for everything. And just kind of taking the tool work out by basically just brushing it with the brush. Pretty simple. Um, it gets tacky after a while and you have to add some more water. But this is basically just to get the ear on there, to get these parts on there. Um, I can I can come back and do more refining later on as I go. Like I don't know if these look like really good ears or not, but I can you know I can do a little more to them, like cut them more, cut more from the backside, make them look more like they pop off the ear, the head a little bit. Well guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you for taking the time to watch this. Let me know what you think about this so far in the comments below. 
and uh, don't forget to like the video it really helps a lot um, so until next time I'll see you here again soon thank you so much for watching